Well, with summer here or just around the corner, there are many fun adventures on Boston Harbor for families and really just anyone to enjoy. From the fun Codzilla thrill ride to the sunset and sightseeing cruises and the fast ferry to Cape Cod, Boston Harbor Cruises has a full schedule of activities this summer. Also, as Sail Boston 2017 takes center stage beginning on June 17th, narrated Boston Harbor Cruises will be the only way visitors and tourists will be able to view the entire Tall Ships Regatta fleet. Here to tell us more, including details on their new partnership with one of the world's leading chefs, we've invited one of the principals of this family-owned and operated business, Allison Nolan. Welcome back to Urban Update. You've been here before. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Yes, it's always great to have you here, Allison. Summer's uh, is here, sort of here. Uh, it has, it's been difficult getting here at some point, but what are some of the fun uh, activities that Boston Harbor Cruises has to offer for um, you know people who live here and mm -hmm. tourists who come? So it may not feel like summer, but I hear summer's coming eventually. But at Boston Harbor Cruises, we're ready and we're up and running. So at any given point during the summer, we have as many as 500 different departures leaving from all over the city. And what's great about all of that volume is there's something for everyone. So whether or not you want to spend a full day and go to Salem or Provincetown with friends and family, or you want to just take a quick 45-minute harbor cruise or Codzilla, if you come down to Boston Harbor Cruises and you want to get out on the water or out to the Boston Harbor Islands, there really is something for everybody. Wow. Now, a lot of people uh, may not know this, but your company is a family-owned and operated mm -hmm. and has been for a long time, isn't it? Yeah, Boston Harbor Cruises was founded by my great-grandfather in 1926, so we're 91 years old. And we've grown from a one-vessel to employee fleet to a 59-vessel uh, fleet today with as many as 700 employees in the summer season. Wow. Um, now, Sail Boston, uh, the tall ships, so they're going to be coming to Boston June 17th until June 22nd. What are some of the special cruises you're offering so people can view that? Sure. So we're really proud to be a sponsor of Sail Boston. And Sail Boston, like you mentioned, is June 17th to the 22nd. So it's a five-day international festival. We have 56 ships visiting Boston from 14 different countries. So there will be a grand parade of sail, which is really an incredibly spectacular sight to see when all is. 56 ships will parade into Boston Harbor. There will be a Navy flyover. Uh, this will last from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's, it's something that you shouldn't miss. The ships will come in under sail if possible, and many will have cadets up in the riggings. Uh, you can, there's many places to watch the parade of sail for free from around Boston Harbor and you can check on the Sail Boston website to do that. There will be some security restrictions so if you choose to do that make sure you plan ahead and know what you can bring and can't. For Boston Harbor Cruises we get you out there on the water so we'll be sending ships out some with food some just straight to view but all with professional live narration that as the ships parade past us in the anchorage we'll tell you about each and every ship that you'll see and what makes them important or special for their country or we can take you out to Spectacle Island where there'll be a whole day uh, event out on Spectacle and you can watch the ships come through almost one of the first vantage points to see the ships on the North Drumlin so and there's a ton of options. Yeah, it's a great family event too isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, it's, it, it absolutely is. Now, uh, you just announced that uh, you have a new partnership with Chef Barbara Lynch. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk to us a little bit more about this uh, this new wrinkle you have going on here? Sure. So uh, Boston Harbor Cruise has always outsourced our food service and we're very good mariners. We're not great chefs. So what we really wanted to do was to elevate the experience of food. Um, Barbara and I came together as friends over two really important things. We're both very passionate about the city of Boston, and we're both passionate about elevating the experience of living and visiting Boston. So why should great food only be in restaurants? And why can't we bring that experience of, of wonderful food and fresh product out onto the harbor in the islands um, while you're enjoying the day with your family, visiting the Boston Harbor Islands, or having a special event on one of the boats? Wow, yum. Now, Boston Harbor Cruises also runs, and people may not know this, mm -hmm. the water taxis. Um, talk to me about, uh, I guess, that uh, how that helps the transportation mm -hmm. situation, situation in Boston. Yeah. 
which what everybody knows about what's happening in Boston, it's a very exciting time. So the city is really orientating itself uh, around the waterfront. There's a lot of great development going on in East Boston, in Seaport, bringing new density and residents and, and workers to those areas. So how do we look at getting around Boston better? And one of the ways that people are considering is water transportation. So the water taxis will go point to point to 26 docks inside of Boston Harbor. So almost anywhere that's close to the water, you can get by water taxi. And it's on call. It's like hailing an Uber or a cab. Oh. And it's uh, $12 one way. It will take you anywhere in the city you'd like to For go. example, from where to where, for example? Uh, one of the more popular trips in the summer would be from <coughs> Long Wharf downtown over to the seaport for people to go and have uh, a cocktail or dinner after work during the week. Yeah. Now, do you find that uh, more people commuters or people who, who live here use it, or is it more of a tourist attraction? I would say it's probably 50-50. Um, for the tourists, it's a great way to get around the city while getting to take in the sights and the skyline and, and getting some sea breezes. And for the residents, it's it's just a very convenient way. If you're in East Boston, it's a it's a 12-minute trip across the harbor. Okay. Now, where can people find uh, ticket information for all the fun stuff at Boston Harbor Cruises? Sure. So all the information can be found on bostonharborcruises.com. Okay. All right. Now, uh, here's a fun question. Um, what, uh, what's one of your favorite Boston Harbor Cruises uh, attractions? Well, in the summer, I like to get out of the city if I can. So probably my favorite would be to take the ferry down to Provincetown for the day. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. That, that is a great, uh, mm -hmm. it's a great take. It's just beautiful being out there on a, on a great day if you have good weather. You know, you're talking about your business being 91 years old. Mm -hmm. um, what, um, gosh, what was, it, what was Boston Harbor Cruises like 91 years ago? And mm -hmm. how has it changed over the, over the years? Well, in many Obviously, ways, you weren't there, but of uh, course, no. It's it's two stories. It's how Boston Harbor Cruises has changed, and really how the city of Boston has changed. So, when we were in uh, in Boston all the way up through the '70s, the waterfront wasn't a place you would go visit or recreate. Um, there was a big barrier with the central artery. So, after things started to happen, like the development of Faneuil Hall into a tourist attraction. Uh, the depression of the central artery, the creation of the aquarium, mated the waterfront and downtown, and recreating on Boston Harbor something that was attractive and that you wanted to do. So we've worked very hard for 91 years, but so has the city and the state, and we're all benefiting from that from that hard work over all these years. Now, was your grandfather um, giving people giving people like you know pleasure rides? Mm -hmm. um, you know, 91 years ago, is that on Boston Harbor? Mm -hmm. How it really started is he was really passionate about boats, so one of those kids that just knew from a very young age that he wanted to be a boat captain. And in the 20s, he was an old West Ender. So you imagine all of those three, four-story walk-ups in the West End would get incredibly hot in the summer. So his business really was taking Boston residents for 30-minute cruises on the Charles River to beat the city heat. Wow. So I guess to wrap things up, uh, what would you like to leave viewers with about uh, Boston Harbor Cruises and the fun mm -hmm. things they can do this summer and the parade of sail? Yeah. I think definitely take advantage of Sail Boston and come down and see the ships. You can board the ships for free from the 17th also through the 21st. And think about getting out and recreating on Boston Harbor. Think about visiting the islands. Think about going to Provincetown by water or taking a thrill ride trip with us. Okay. And we'll leave it right there. Allison Nolan and Boston Harbor Cruises. You know, good luck uh, with having oh, business is great this summer. Sounds like a lot of fun. I have to get out there on one of those cruises. I have to pick uh, one of the fun ones, yeah. maybe go to Provincetown or something again. It sounds like mm -hmm. a lot of fun. I did that several years ago. It's about time to do it again. You should. Okay, Allison Nolan, thanks for coming in. Thank well, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. And from all of us here, have a great Sunday, everyone.